Well, humanity's just made its first image of a black hole. What was previously in the minds of astronomers is now in hand and for the whole world to see. Black holes are at the very extreme of gravity. If you want to test whether Einstein was really right and had the last say, one way to do that is to make the image of the black hole shadow and measure its size and shape. UP's role was to create a highly realistic simulation of the instrument, testing its limits and understanding the inference that can be made about black hole shadows. So while this is a major milestone for the EHT project, it is really just the beginning in these sorts of precision tests of general relativity. Doing so in the future will require the expansion of our global network of antennas, particularly on the African continent. Being part of a incredibly talented international team trying to achieve what many have said was impossible has just been nothing short of exhilarating. I'm just really, really grateful to have been part of that team, working on the kind of result that many scientists just dream of. UP is clearly a global player, forming part of a team of 200 plus international scientists from five different continents to achieve this historic result. With Meerkat's inauguration last year and the spectacular earlier results, I think it's clear that there has never been a better time for young South Africans to get involved in astronomy. What's really important to me is to build a strong world-class research group here at the University of Pretoria to develop young astronomers with the kind of expertise that can take the opportunities that are available to them both nationally and on an international stage. In UP's de uh, Department of Physics, we are building an astronomy group that is both science-driven and technically savvy. We've demonstrated this in our role in the EHT project, and we are planning on playing a leading role in the Meerkat and Square Kilometer Array projects.